Much needed relief is on the way for millions of Americans today after President Biden signed that $1.9 trillion relief package just before noon. Today, Team 12 political insider Bram Resnick spoke to White House COVID response senior advisor Andy Slavin about the relief package and our nation's progress over the past year fighting COVID. Uh, let's talk about the relief package that the president has signed. How will it speed up vaccinations here in Arizona and how will it help us reach folks who just have a tough time getting access to vaccines? We, in order to really do our job in, in Arizona, we're gonna need to have more vaccination sites. We're going to need to have uh, things like mobile vans available to get people vaccinated. We're gonna need more vaccinators. All of that uh, requires resources and thankfully the American Rescue Plan is gonna allow that to happen. And right now, I think that number is about 22% in the polling. I've seen people who either don't trust it or just aren't sure, want to wait and see. How do you break through? What's the, what's the best way to do that? I think what we have to do is make sure that people who have questions have places to get reliable answers. There's no such thing as a bad question for someone who is considering whether or not they should be getting a vaccine. And so we just need to make sure they get reliable answers as opposed to going on Facebook and getting an unreliable answer. Uh, what is the risk for another surge in the hospitals that they might have to deal with? I think it's very important that we not um, lose our patients here as we, as we see the light at the end of the tunnel, because it is indeed a very heavy burden um, that will fall on the healthcare workers that we all know and are part of our friends and families. We've seen so much over the last 12 months, so many advances uh, in caring for people with COVID. What has made the biggest difference in that care? Well, look, the, the science and the scientists have really gotten an A here um, for both the, not just the development of these vaccines, which we have three incredibly good vaccines, but also the monoclonal antibodies, um, drugs like remdesivir. Um, those are things that have dramatically reduced the death rate. There are also lower tech things that have worked, such as how we, um, uh, how we uh, put patients who are in the hospital um, we prone them uh, differently. These are all things we've learned along the way. What are you most grateful for? I'm grateful for the career civil servants um, in state and federal governments who have been shouldering this burden day in and day out. I'm grateful to the nurses and the doctors and the techs and frontline workers who every day have shown up. Uh, they've been growing our food. They've been delivering our food. They haven't missed a beat during this entire time. And they've been unsung heroes. And I think largely as a country, we tend to overlook the people that are doing this really, really critical work. And I think we've got to continue to find ways to honor them um, as we honor the people that have lost so much. We can't thank our frontline healthcare workers enough.